Welcome back to the Suburban Chateau and day four of our countdown to an old fashioned Christmas. There's nothing I love more about Christmas than giving gifts. And I just always love putting together things for the people in my life and sharing my appreciation for everything they do for me during the year. So today we're gonna to be putting together some handmade gifts. I love to make sugar scrubs. I love to make candles. I've always been a bit of a crafter. So today we're going to be assembling some baskets and bags of goodies for gifts for people that have helped me out throughout the year. And uh, just sharing a little bit of uh, fun and appreciation to them as well for all they do for me during the year. So join us today as we make some handmade gifts. So today I'm going to be making some homemade gifts for my friends and I'm going to be starting out making some simple soy candles. I'll put a link in the description to the kit that I use to make soy candles. Um, but basically all you have to do is melt them. I have several different videos on this channel that give step-by-step -step instructions on how to make soy candles. So I'll also put a link in the description of that. Basically, I'm going to be melting the soy wax that I have purchased, adding a wax colorant that melts as well. And then I use a scent, scented oil. Um, I always have loved this candle company. It's called Our Own Candle Company. Now, I usually buy those candles already made, but then I found out that they actually created the oils that so you can make your own candles. So I started to make my own. This is one of my favorites, apple pie. Um, so today I'm just going to show you some of the simple steps, going to get started on my candles and um, just hopefully give you, maybe inspire you to make some homemade things uh, for your friends and family. Just wanted to take a second to show you what this kit looks like for the soy wax candles. It's called Hearts and Crafts, and it's a natural soy wax kit. It's the number one bestseller on Amazon, and I think it was about $40 when I purchased it. It's 10 pounds of soy wax that comes in this bag, and then it has, I believe, 100 wicks, and if you remember, well, a little later, you'll see that it has the wick um, holders. Once I have that wax melted, I have the color additive and of course our fragrance oil, then I'm gonna to start to pour the candles. So let's watch that process a little bit. And um, today I'm making an apple pie candle. Once I have those poured, then I'm gonna go back and add the wicks to them. And then I have a little way to secure the wicks in place so that um, they'll stay right in the center and as they harden, they'll, that wick will stay secured. So I'm pretty pleased with how this first batch turned out. And as you can see, I've got a little um, wick holder that holds up the wicks to make sure that when they are cooling down, they stay right in the center. My husband helped me out too, kind of came up with an ingenious method uh, for anything that had a larger um, lid, like this candle here. And we just put pencils up, and uh, even though the little rounder is just a slightly bit smaller. Um, the, and that's another tip too. We just took ball jars and put a little hole in the top, and that is another great way to help center those wicks. I sort of ran out of the other type. And uh, so that's one of the things we use as well. Now, when I was done with this color scent, I had a little extra wax, so I went ahead and completed one that I'm gonna keep since I love candles as well. And I picked up this piece of pottery this summer and I thought it would make a really great candle. I made it into a four wick candle because I knew it would burn more evenly. And then again, I'm just using pencils to help sort of stabilize those wicks so that they stay at an even distance apart. It's, it's a little bit fiddly. Um, but here are the candles and they're um, gonna cool down slowly and uh, just I'll have to trim the wicks and they'll be ready to give us gifts. So now I'm just going to trim the wicks of the candles and uh, put the lids back on them. And I just trim them to about quarters of an inch and they're all set I 
I have shared my recipe before for my lemon sugar hand scrub. And today I'm gonna mix it up a little bit with my handmade gifts. I am actually changed and I'm gonna try a rose scented fragrance um, or a, a little essential oil. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, but I'll just tell you the basic ingredients. So we have equal parts of Epsom salts and just a plain old sugar. And I'm using, um, for our purposes, two cups of each. And then I'm gonna be adding to that, as a binder, MCT oil, or fractionated coconut oil. In this case, it's 12 tablespoons. And then all we do is add to that um, a little bit of the essential oil, and we get that amazing um, scent. So I'm gonna mix these two together, add a little MCT oil and a little bit of fragrance, and box them up for um, some rose-scented hand scrub. And I'll probably be making some lemon as well as I have my lemon out um, here to make those today, but they make great gifts. So to our two cups of sugar, I'm going to add two cups of Epsom salts, and I love a two cup measure. I didn't realize they even made these. Thank you, Pioneer Woman. To those two, ingredients, I'm going to add my 12 tablespoons of MCT oil. So those go in. Again, love these cups, very handy. And I'm going to mix those together. I'll just use a wooden spoon just to make sure they're evenly mixed together. And it'll get, uh, it will bind together pretty well. And you'll still be able to tell the texture, but, um, it's, it's, it really works well together. Next to that mixture, I'm gonna add my 24 drops of the rose essential oil. So once I'm all mixed, then I'm just going to load up. I'm using the quilted jelly jar, the smaller size. And I think they make a nice little size. I know I have suggested to my friends when I've given it to them, just to set it next to the sink. And um, it makes a great way, just mix with water. And when you're washing your hands at the sink, it really is a great exfoliant. And uh, these make lots and lots of, um, they just fill a lot of these little jelly jars. So I'll probably make some rose scented uh, sugar scrub and then also I may make some lemon. Um, and I like to give them, I have a lot of friends that are musicians and so this is a great gift for musicians who are always washing their hands and have to retune instruments or uh, just have a lot of like dry hand issues because we play instruments. But um, these are just like the absolute greatest gift and um, everyone seems to appreciate it. Just a little homemade touch. I'm not a baker. I'm not gonna make cookies. Well, I like to make cookies, but it's not one of the things that I give as gifts. So for me, um, this is a little, a bit of my personalized gift giving. Just as a point of reference, after I made the sugar scrub, um, I realized that it filled, so this is uh, four cups of the dry ingredients, which is two cups of sugar and two cups of Epsom salts. It filled completely to the top 11 of the quarter point, quarter pint jar sizes. So not quite um, a dozen got filled, but almost there. And um, so I'll be able to give those all as gifts. And uh, I'll make another batch here, um, probably with the lemon scent, and uh, we'll get those, those ones filled up as well. Thanks so much for joining us on today's episode of the Suburban Chateau. And I hope you got some ideas of how you can put together some homemade gifts on your own as well. People really appreciate the time that you put into gifts that you make yourselves. So maybe you got some inspiration and some ideas from today's episode. I hope you come back and join us again as we celebrate the 12 days of an old fashioned Christmas.